Hello everybody, it's a Saints man here, small van driver on the CX, it's Saturday the 15th, it's a week in the life of, and yeah, had a good morning this morning, although the weather's showery, yeah, been out on my fast bike, uh, got the MOT, flew through the MOT, and took it for a good spin, got a Blackbird, not, not that one, that's the Fireblade that I used to race, it's a Blackbird, still wickedly quick, and yeah, Managed to dodge a few showers, went out for an hour and a bit. And I thought I'd do this. It's Saturday afternoon. God knows when it'll go out. Week in the life of. Uh, actually, I haven't even, even looked at the book. I looked at a book about my diary last week, about 10 minutes ago. And there's a theme. Five early starts. That's one theme that's probably, uh, well, I'm looking at it knackered. And also, every day, I managed to pick a load up the night before for the next day so monday i've got a load on for tuesday tuesday for wednesday wednesday for thursday thursday for friday so it's been a good week it's been all right i've, I've hit target but i haven't smashed target if you see what i mean but i've had early finishes as well you know i've finished you know one day i finished at two o'clock one day at three thirty one at four and a couple at four thirty five no seven eight nine o'clock finishes so yeah Anyway, crack on. As you all know, it's all unscripted. I just read it out as it is, and hopefully it helps people. We start off. I've got a job already booked in uh, from Northampton. Pick up Northampton, and it was an early start. It was pick up six o'clock, and it was going to Leicester and Loughborough. Good money. This is a shipper who's very local to me, and he has he has work on there most mornings early one or two jobs but he never knows until uh, that evening but it is good work if i haven't got anything booked in i'll always if i wake up always have a quick look at the phone see if there's anything there but i got this on sunday i picked this up and one was to leicester to a hospital and the other one which was interesting but a bit of a pain in the ass was to loughborough university and it was to their medical center it was mri equipment Never been to Loughborough University, a sports, it's a sports centre for excellence and all this. But really, really impressive. I mean, they have got some equipment. I went around the whole place because I couldn't find the uh, sports medical place. And I had to go back to security and found it. But we got that job done and that was easy enough. And I picked a second job up quite soon afterwards, not too late. And that was Derby to Peterborough. Uh, Peterborough... It can be a good area, it can be a rubbish area. But I picked it up for, I picked the job at Derby to Peterborough, got really good money on it, it was a pallet. And we dropped that off in Peterborough, and it st still wasn't late, too late, it was still morning. Got to Peterborough, nothing about, no work. And there was a job on there which was picking up Corby, going to Stonehouse, which is in Gloucester, between Gloucester and Cheltenham. But the delivery was for the next morning, and it got to be there at 8 o'clock the next morning. So um, I decided that I'd go for that. I'd see if I could get it. Corby's not too far from Peterborough, and it was pick up up to 4 o'clock, and I was from any time up to 4 o'clock. So I quoted on it and got it, and I thought, well, we'll go over across to Corby. If there's a local job I can do, which I can still get the pick up, I'd do it, but there weren't. So I went to pick up. Got the pickup. It was a pallet, two hundred and forty kilo pallet, which is fine. And we got it on, and we were done Monday, two o'clock home, and got the uh, pallet on board, ready for the next day. Which we started. We started five fifteen in the morning, and the delivery was, in fact, it was for seven fifteen. So I left a couple of hours to do it, and we got there to Stonehouse, it was literally just off the motorway, just off the M5, and cut across country through the Cotswolds, gorgeous drive, even at that time of morning, uh, yeah, it's just lush. And then we got a second job, which was a longish job, and it was picking up in Tewkesbury, which is not far, it's just up the road from Stonehouse, and it was going to Hornchurch, now if you don't know where Hornchurch is, it is a very posh district of Romford, pretty much. It's next to Romford Junction, I'm going to guess, 29 of the M25. It's before the bridge. 
and in Hornchurch, and I was delivering one box. That's all it was, one box. Uh, and it was a award, it was a trophy or something from a trophy place. Anyway, we get to Hornchurch, a good old journey. I got good money on that as well. And I thought, well, am I going to get anything from there? That's the problem. But I've got good money going down to Stoner, Stonehouse and good money, and it took me over target. And I thought, if I don't get anything from there, I'm going to drive back, which is exactly what happened. But on the way back, the traffic was horrendous. There was a real hold up on the M1. And I got the laptop out and got it on because we were stuck in traffic. I think we'd got a roll, not a rolling roadblock. They'd stop the traffic while they were clearing the road. And there was a job on there which was from well, uh, Northampton going to Coventry the next morning. And it was, I've done this work for this local shipper before. It's always good money. And it's always a decent load. And I picked it up on the way home. And I picked it up at Uppers 4, and I was done and home 10 to 5. So Tuesday was a good day, although I did have a lot of dead miles. But I got a job for home to Coventry, which was only 30, 35 miles, and I got good money on it. Well, very good money, actually. So happy with that. But you need that. Again, another early start. Quarter to six start. I'd got to be there at seven, delivering it. And I was delivering it back at Coventry Airport. They're building a huge, Buckingham, uh, the, the company are, building a huge amount of distribution centres. I can't tell you what it was called, but it's around the back of the airport. And none of them are open yet, but there's going to be a massive hub there. And I was dropping off stuff for a couple of guys, engineers, and they weren't there. I was there at seven, as I was told by the customer the night before, get there at seven. And when I phoned them up, they said, we're still in Leicester, mate, we're on our way there. We didn't know you were coming. Great. <coughs> To be fair, I phoned the shipper up. I know him well. He said, Dave, I'm really sorry. I said, don't worry about it. I said, I was just letting you know that I'm going to be sat here probably till quarter to eight, eight o'clock. And they got there at 20 to eight and unloaded me straight away. I phoned the shipper up, Kev, just to let him know. And he says, what do you want extra? He says, I said, if you put a tenner on it, I'd be grateful. I says, because there are jobs. He went, no, it's no problem. And that's what I like. You get a good understanding. He knew that I'd have to wait. I'd waited there 50 minutes in total the time I'd left, done power work. So then I got a job quite quickly from Coventry. I had to go to rugby, and it was Coventry side of rugby, to go to Burton-on-Trent. And that was just one box. And it was good money again. I was on good money. Seems to be a theme, that. Good money. But good money because I'm doing short jobs. I was going to see if I could do hop around the Midlands and just do f four short jobs or what I could. I weren't going long distance then. And I got to Burton on Trent. And again, it was the new Moden Park in new, right on the side of the A38 anyway. And that was to a newish company. They're all new builds there. They hadn't been there long. One box, easy. And I parked up at the side. And I was thinking, well, what can we get from here? And the job was there which was a fair distance away, it was 20 miles away. But it was going to Daventry, which is not far from my house, it's about 20, 25 miles tops. Uh, and I thought, well, I'll quote on it. It was from Ilkeston. So from Burton-on-Trent to Ilkeston I had to go. And I put the mileage included and to Daventry. And I got it, got the job, which I was surprised about because there was drivers there. And it was a pallet. Um, Trying to think what was on the pallet. It was nothing mass massive, about 100 kilo pallet. Can't remember now. But I've done this job before. I've done it twice. And when you get to Daventry, it's a little bit tight getting the forklift in and out. And I got there at lunchtime. I was there at one o'clock, quarter to one. But fair play to the bloke. The, the guys were all on their lunch. And I thought, well, I'm going to be stuck here waiting. But the manager came out and he unloaded it. And far enough. So that was that done. And then I went out my lunch and I parked up. I parked up in a lay-by just outside Daventry. Between Daventry and Northampton, there's a lay-by on the left. I just parked there because it covers my options to get to Rugby, Daventry, Banbury, Northampton. Sort of all around, really. And there weren't nothing. It was really quiet. I was there a while as well, to be honest. And there was a job picking up in Banbury. Um... 
and it was from then until six o'clock at night delivering the next day which is ideal it really is i'm going to do a video on strategy my strategy what the best my best i think my best strategy is to get work and i'll do a separate video on it uh but so and it was going to thetford which is not a great area the next morning um uh, and it got to be in thetford at nine o'clock and i got the job so happy with that as well so off we went to banbury which was about 16 mile away picked it up again it was a pallet it was a full pallet as well um nearly only just under the van but they had put the dimensions on so i knew it'd go in the van and it went in and it was fine and off we went home and again we finished at five at uh, 3 30 that afternoon so it's nice early finish but i've had three early starts then we got up the next morning we've got to be in uh thetford no later than nine it said no later than nine and what i've heard you could unload at eight i've done this job before twice and i've always had problems unloading it it's not where the goods in is there's two goods in there's a site two in thetford and you go through there through uh automated gates and there's no one there you phone up and they said oh we'll send someone to that one because we're all at the other wells so thursday we got there and it was eight o'clock on the dot so it was an hour early but i thought get this tipped it gives me more opportunity because this area is pretty dire around it normally this suffolk norfolk cambridgeshire is not the best but if you can get it unloaded and be ready for half past eight nine o'clock you'd like to think there'd be one job and if you're on the ball and ready you may have to quote a bit lower but you're going to get out of cambridge and norfolk suffolk whatever but I, it took a while it took half an hour and the reason it took half an hour they have a break at eight until half eight great they only start work at six so after two hours they're straight on a break and it's a big break half eight it was half eight so anyway we got it tipped and sat around for a little bit not too long went to sainsbury's in thetford and there's a mcdonald's it's a big retail park park there and a job come up cambridge which i was a bit of a distance away to chatteris and it said pays good money it was 32 mile and i was a 20 mile from it and i thought well it's got to be good money i'm going to put so i put a really good bid almost not quite two quid a mile but chatteris is the middle of nowhere it is between Huntingdon and I'm going to say Peterborough. It's sort of Huntingdon plus 15 miles, something like that. It's in the middle of nowhere. I've never seen many, hardly any jobs come out of Chatteris. But we did it. We took it. It was a box. It wasn't nothing special. It was one box going to Chatteris. It was going to a, uh, it was a, a lab laboratory for foods, standard food standards of laboratory. And when I realised, I'd realised I'd been once before. A long while ago. Anyway, we got it delivered. And I got a decision to make. Stay in Chatteris or drive somewhere where I'm going to get some work. And I decided, because I've got really good money on it, I was driving to Huntingdon. It's about 15 miles. And I thought, and if a job pops up in Huntingdon, I'm there. I'm on it. So off we went. We drove to Huntingdon <coughs> and we parked up in Tesco's in Huntingdon, which is just off the ring road great place to perch and we sat and waited there and we waited a little bit had a bit of lunch and a job popped up there was two jobs popped up not going to lie one was pick up peterborough and deliver the next day to here we go here's my word i, I just can't pronounce this word oswald street oswald street that's the best you're going to get and it was to deliver friday morning at nine o'clock and Os Oswald Street, I'm not going to say it anymore, is 15, 20 miles past Shrewsbury. It's not a brilliant area. And I quoted on it, and it was pick up any time up till 4 o'clock, and this was like 1 o'clock. So I quoted on it. Quoted on it, strong, strong bid. I've got to go past my house if I got it. And I got it. I, picked, I said I could pick it up within half an hour. And I got it. But as I got it, there was a job on there from Huntingdon to Cambridge. And it's a shipper I know really well. And I was 0.5 miles away. I was like, I was on it. 
and it was 20 so up miles so I put a quote in I put a quote not my minimum I put a bit more on and I thought I could do this and I could then go to Peterborough and pick the one in Peterborough and then go home and I've got the job for Friday so it worked out really well really well very fortunate lucky it's just luck sometimes it falls like that and it did so I picked it up I did the hunting done one. I'd got the Peterborough one. I got up till four o'clock. I explained to the shipper I was doing a little job. I would be there between three and four. She said, no later than four. As long as you do that, I've got no problem. And I picked this thing. I was half a mile away, 20 mile down the road, Cambridge delivered. And it was to a village, actually, north of, north of Cambridge. And it was to a shop. It was a piece for a coffee machine. So I got that delivered. And turned and straight to Peterborough. And I was at Peterborough for... I'm going to say three o'clock. It was just before three. And I was picking a pump up. A big, massive pump to go to a sewerage works Friday morning in the place that's 20 miles north of Shrewsbury. So that was a good day. I've done three jobs and I've got my fourth job on for Friday. And again, I've got to be in, I'll try once more, Oswestry. There we go. I've got to be there for nine o'clock. Now, I pulled over, had a cup of tea, because I picked the I picked the pump up, pulled over, I thought, I'll have a look at the feed for the next day to see if there's anything. Now, once I'd got the load, I knew I was going. Is there anything around Oswald Street that I can get the next day? And there was a job on there from Oswald Street, which I know there's not a lot of work comes out of there. And it was going to London, E1, Congestion Zone, New Les, the lot. And it was picking up nine o'clock. And it was the same postcard, the same first three with that SY8, which obviously is not going to be too far away. So I put a bid on it. I thought, this is Friday. I'll put a bid on it because I think I can get there. And if there's nothing happening, I'm going to be sat there for a long while getting a little job. And I put over a pound a mile plus everything, congestion, for the, ne the next job to see if I could get it. Anyway, I carried on trundling at home, left that quote on. Uh, didn't think much about it. I thought, well, I probably haven't got it. No worries. And I got home Thursday, and I just fuel, uh, just fueled, fueled up, and the phone went, and it was a message. It wasn't a phone, it was a message on my phone. And it was from the shipper, the job to London, saying, I used to live out there, but I've accidentally deleted it off the CX, but I've got your number, and got your bid. And I says, yeah, I says, I explained to him I was actually delivering at nine o'clock, or I could probably get it off slightly before, in, in SY8. And I said, as soon as I've done that, I'll be on yours. So it may be picking up quarter past half past nine. I don't know. And I said, if there's any issues, is that a problem? He said, not at all. He said, you can pick it up between nine and ten. So I thought, well, that gives me a bit more leeway. So we went out Thursday, got the fuel, fueled up for Friday, and we set off again, another early start, Friday. I made the decision I was going to get up early. It's only a two and a bit hour journey, but I've got to get past Birmingham on the M6, which can be a, and also Coventry, Birmingham can be an absolute nightmare on Friday. So I, I got up until nine o'clock to deliver. I got on the road at half past five, hoping I'd clear the traffic and get there at half seven, have a break, get there for eight. Exactly what happened. Uh, I did have a break. I had a break in Oswald Street, right outside and right near where the sewage treatment work was. Had a coffee, had a Greg's, uh, really nice, yeah. yeah. I do like the coffee, I do like, you get a sausage and bacon back with a coffee, it's a deal, uh, it's just good. And I went to the sewage works, I got there at quarter past eight, and I'd already worked out that my pickup for the next one was six miles away. So I thought if I can get in there and get unloaded, even if I, I know I'm early, and it was brilliant, the bloke unloaded, he was there. Uh, the, the contact weren't there, but he said, the guys will be there if you can, that's brilliant, get it off, we can crack on. And they did, they got the pallet off, it was a pump, the pump weighed over 100 kilos. Uh, it wasn't massive, it was on a small pallet, but it was a good lump off that cup. And we was at the job for London, from SY8, we was there at, just after half past eight, 20, 25 to nine, which I thought, oh, might be a bit early. No, they were ready. And it was 18 boxes of promotional stuff, leaflets, uh, 
some drinks, some soft drinks, and it was going to a cafe come... It's just a huge social area, a massive building, and they got the front as a cafe, and it it was very arty in London. And also, I could have put, I kid you not, four bamboo plants on. Okay? So they went on. Luckily, they, they, they didn't bend in the van. They were just the right height for the van. And there was two tables as well. So I got a good van load for London. I was getting well paid. Phoned the shipper up just to tell him I've got there early and I've got everything on. And he was very happy. I said, look, it could be a four-hour journey, this, to London. You never know. He said, it's not a problem. Whenever you get there. I put out I was going to be there at half past two. Worst case scenario. I actually got there at half past one. Uh, and I had a stop as well at Toddington. Stopped for a toilet and got another drink. And got some food. And, yeah, got into London, and it flowed. Not going to lie, Friday, it flowed. Finchley Road, right down the Islington, Angel, Islington, that way down. And, yeah, got it outside. It got a revolving door. <laughs> revolving door, and I went in, and it reception. Explained who I was, who my contact was. Yeah, that's great, you can bring them in here. We'll have them in here. So, and he brought a trolley out, a big trolley for me, and they got a fire exit door, so I didn't have to keep going around this bloody revolving thing. All good. And, yeah, I did get any help unloading them. That was a bit of a pain. I had 18 of these boxes, but you could get nine on a trolley, so it was only two trips, 20 yards in, take them off, back out, 20 yards, four bamboo plants, two tables, so it was three trips. And we're done. I'd already decided I weren't even going to bother. Weren't even going to bother. I just want to go home. Um, I had a long drive, it was a good long day, that was my biggest mileage, yeah, I did four, nearly 400 mile that day, and I was still not too bad, I was still home by up as four, so I'd done the 11 hours, but good money, very good money, and I managed to pick a job up for Monday, which I'm happy about, it's picking up quarter to eight in Northampton, going to Canary Islands and to Greys. And it's two residential addresses. It's from a plumber's. It's going to be boiler. It's normally a boiler for each residential address. Meet the engineer on site. Good money. So Monday's sorted. I'm not even looking over the weekends. I haven't even looked at the feed. And I'll be in Greys hopefully by about, I don't know, 11, half 11. And I'm on good money. That's the week. All good. I did. Full week, my first full week back after the holiday, because we before I did three days, and I did 1,460 miles, so we're sort of back to normal, and I worked 50 hours, so it's an te average 10-hour day, so it's still doing good hours, just finish, starting earlier, finishing earlier, and I did 38 hours driving, which is quite a lot, um, that's what it was, and I got 967 before VAT, normally my target's a thousand, but when I add the 20% VAT on, it makes it 1160 and 40 pence, don't forget 40 pence, and you take off 10%, 116 pound and four pence for the VAT man, and you keep the rest, which works out 1,044.36. So yeah, went over 1,000 by 44 quid, um, and it was all pretty good really. Got home every night, no tramping, no long long distances. In fact, the furthest I was away from my house was in Stonehouse or Osra Street. I was I was not there was nothing up Newcastle, Cornwall, Scotland. It was all into a big circle. All good. Um, nothing else to report really. Um, I was talking to say I'm going to do a video about strategy. I've been on here for twenty four bit minutes. If you like, you want to subscribe, please do. If you want to, it, it, it all helps. If you want to comment, I'll try and get back to you. I don't answer everyone. It's not being ignorant. It's just I don't see them or I just, I, it probably is ignorant actually. Um, I don't check it that often. And the reason being, once I've done it, once I've done the video, I've done it. I don't even go back over it and listen to it. So if I offend anyone, I apologize. But it's just the way it is. Well, I say it. It's just me, isn't it? Nice and simple. Rugby season starts soon. We're getting a bit itchy feet. Another six weeks, I think, something like that, before we start. Seven weeks. And we're back mountain biking. Hope you're all doing well. And speak next week. I say, look out for a video. I'm going to do one on strategy, my strategy. And I hope it helps people. Speak soon.